Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing something a little bit more controversial over here in the channel. It's going to be a talking head video, so just sit back, relax, listen to the words that come out of my mouth hole and let's see what happens. This is going to be, of course, a discussion, so I'm interested to see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. But the topic of today's video is going to be paying versus pirating software. So recently, I have just bought the Adobe Suite, mainly because it was on sale, a pretty good sale. I could buy the full Creative Cloud for 30 euro a month because of Black Friday. I'm going to be leaving links in that to the description down below. I believe it's until the end of this week you can get it. So if you're a fan of the Adobe Suite or you're using any of the software, it's a really, really good buy. I'd recommend checking it out. But before this, I've kind of jumped around how I've gotten software. I've used software from my previous job for a while. I had the Adobe Suite there. I've, uh, of course, pirated software in the past. I think we've all pretty much done it. I've jumped around a lot of applications before, a lot of recording software. At the very, very beginning, I remember using Camtasia Studio. I use it to record and edit. And this is a blast from the past. And uh, that's where I really got my start into YouTube and creating videos and making everything like that. Thankfully, I was able to skip the whole Bandai Cam and uh, all the watermarked software. For some reason, I managed to skip that. I'm not sure how. I went back to watch my old videos. They're all over the place and aspect ratios. I don't even know how I how I really got to 16 by 9 to be honest. <laughs> but I did buy the Adobe Suite and I have a couple of reasons and some points I wanted to discuss about this. The first one being of course viruses. Uh, so for most people, viruses are a very big possibility when it comes to pirating or cracking software. Whereas when you buy software, you typically don't have to get this. Depending on where you buy the software from, you can still get viruses from paid software, which is crazy. But as long as you buy it from a reputable source, of course, then there's normally no problems. So buying software, of course, cuts this out as a possibility altogether, which is one of the major things for buying software. The second thing is updates and updating versions. If you're using a pirated software, typically you're on one version, well, forever until you pirate a new version whereas of course if you buy software for me i use premiere pro i use photoshop i use adobe xd i use all these softwares a lot so when new updates new applications come out it's really really useful to just be able to update it like that rather than needing to search for new things especially now with the creative cloud adobe has really locked it down you can't really pirate a software anymore from adobe you need to kind of block access to the whole creative cloud server so if you want to use one application legit and one not it doesn't really work because you're trying to ping the server with one thing and then the other thing is like oh i'm blocking it so then suddenly your legit one can't do it so now you're like stuck here i hope this analogy makes sense with my fingers they're moving less when they're blocked so i hope you can tell that <laughs> So that's one of the main things as well is just getting updates and just accessibility to information, help, guidance. You can typically get more from customer service when you have paid for software. So typically you have more information in that regard. But alongside this, there's other features that you get, sometimes uh, cloud storage, etc., depending on the app. But overall, I'm pretty happy that I've decided to move up to a paid version. Now that I have some more disposable income and I'm really using it as a full-time thing for me, uh, it's nice to have the ability to really be able to pay for it. Before this, I'm sure we've all been poor that we didn't have money or we were young or whatever the reason may be. But if you're using these professional softwares, as I would say, you should kind of pay the professional price for it. Otherwise, there's plenty of free applications for most things. I'll put an asterisk here. Not every application or use case has a good professional software. I'm not in focus. Can you focus, please? So not every application has a good professional use. For example, there's a good alternative to Photoshop being GIMP, whereas there's not really any good video editing alternatives. I know there's some like uh, Windows Movie Maker and DaVinci Resolve and some things like this, but I feel like Premiere and Sony Vegas are really just so much better. They're paid versions, so it kind of it kind of balances it out. I think it's I think it's a tricky thing. But what I want to ask you guys is, are you pirating software right now? You can tell me. I'm not going to tell anybody. Just uh, call an FBI right now on my phone. Uh, but I'm curious to see what you guys think. Do you pay for software? Do you still think, uh, even if you had the extra money, would you pay for software? Is this something you would recommend doing? For me personally, right now, it's the best choice, I believe. Especially when you can get a good price on it. I can't resist it. Um, so I was totally willing to pay for it. 
Although if you are going to be paying for software, I'd always recommend if you're a student, checking out for student deals. I know Adobe has a student deal, which is basically the same price as what I paid on Black Friday. But the whole year around and all these applications typically have student deals and packages. That is definitely the way to go. Or if you're in this line of work, sometimes you can get it from work and they'll allow you to use it in your own personal time, which is something you can definitely do and something I would recommend. Although be sure to keep your work stuff and personal stuff private and try not to do it on work time, of course. Uh, I'm not getting involved in any of that shit. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I just wanted to make this to say, yes, I am legal. <laughs> I now have uh, an official Adobe license and I'm one of the real OGs, I guess. I don't know what the fuck I just said. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Pirating, are you not? Are you a pirate? Do you have an eye patch? Do you have a bird on your shoulder? I guess I would say this side, do you have a bird on your shoulder? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. Until next time, guys, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.